So, uh, hello, I am Bobby from Italjet. Um, we're here today at Eichmer with the new Dragster 300. Um, Iggy's asked me to give you a few details on that, so I thought I would do. So, we're using the uh, motor that you may be familiar with, the um, 300 uh, Piaggio derived engine. Um, it is a redeveloped version of the uh, HPE engine found in the Vespers and at the moment we are estimating once final testing has been completed we should be about 1 bhp more than the, uh, than the Vespa GTS 300 which is what we're aiming for. Um, the torque is a big improvement over the previous 200 model um, so those of you who go on the long distance rides and like to go to rallies and whatnot will definitely enjoy the extra torque that this motor provides. Yeah, so it's based on the same frame as the 125 and the 200. Um, the front suspension is exactly the same as the 125 and 200 as well. But over on the rear shock, it looks very similar, but it does actually have slightly different settings to uh, make up for the fact that the engine is mounted in a slightly different way, a slightly different angle, and take into account the different weight characteristics of the bike as well. Uh, we see a new dashboard on the 300. That dashboard you'll be pleased to hear as well, a little exclusive for SL UK. We are developing a little box which allows you to put this dashboard onto the 125 and 200cc models. Um, so you'll get a new surround and the, uh, the, the dash itself just here and then there'll be a little conversion box that fits underneath so all the senders and, and whatnot and the signals transfer the relevant data to your dashboard on your previous uh, dragster. Yeah, the indicators have undergone a slight change as well. Um, they were originally just uh, indicators. Now on the 300, they are going to be side lights um, and indicators. So when you're running without your indicators on, you'll see an LED side light there. And as soon as you activate the indicators, you'll see the indicators. And then one of the, uh, the big changes we see is on the side where we've added the wings. It gives it a slightly more aggressive stance. That's another addition that uh, eventually will be available to buy as an addition as well to the, the previous generation 125 and 200. Some of you will also be very pleased to see that the 300 comes with a side stand now as well as standard. So what was originally an optional extra is now standard equipment on all the 300cc models. So all being well, um, obviously it depends when the uh, distributor in each country places their order, but they will be available at the beginning of next year. So uh, in dealers by the first I'd say the first quarter of next year. Uh, Price-wise, we're looking at around 6999 for the 300. Colour-wise, we see the yellow and white just here. Some of you will notice this is the colourway that was previously on the electric dragster. Um, we're not actually uh, producing the electric one at the moment, so we've chose to use that on this because it was quite a striking colourway and it'd be a shame to let it go to waste. We also have the black and red, which was a previous colourway, one of the most popular colourways, so we chose to utilise it on this model here as well. And then we also have the Molossi colours available in the 300. We don't have one of those on display at the moment, uh, but we do have over there in the, in the paddock the Molossi race bikes that we used in the recent championship. And the colourway and graphics will be exactly the same. Um, hopefully we'll have you in Italy very soon. We'll get you up into the hills over Bologna riding the 300 and you can give a full review telling people what you think about it.